I was riding here one day and I had a sense of, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm currently the chair of Upper Mukai Land Care Group. We were going into and through a really significant drought when we really got our heads together about how can we work on a catchment-wide basis to rehydrate and drought-proof 13 farms scattered across this catchment of the Upper Mukai. I think Australia now, with climate change, we have to be in drought preparation all the time. And I do think Landcare's got a really important role. I just think community is so important. It's one of the basic tenets of Landcare. It is about rehydration and regenerative farming, but it is all about community health. The Upper Mukai uh, Rehydration Project is one of the largest rehabilitation projects uh, that LLS has undertaken in this region. This uh, project is primarily funded through Catchment Action New South Wales. It's great to see so many different landholders get involved with a project like this. I manage Windy Station. It's about 21 and a half thousand hectares on the top end of the Liverpool Plains. We run a beef uh, cattle enterprise and a dryland cropping enterprise. We've got an area of the Yarramumbar Creek which is on the lower end of the, the catchment. The project for us is about excluding livestock from there, which is fencing. Then we've got some remedial earthworks that we'll undertake there and then also trying to get some, um, some native veg back in there, so in the form of trees and, and other things that, that, that will stabilise and um, help maintain that waterway. We want to be a sustainable business and to do that we need to be financially sustainable but also environmentally sustainable. On the edge of the Liverpool Plains at Blackville, New South Wales, uh, we have 4,000 acres here. We've got quite a few projects happening. A large portion of that is to fence out the creeks, basically to control the stock, encourage as much growth as we possibly can um, in the creeks. And the aim of that is to slow down the water and to basically keep as much sediment as we possibly can on our farm. One of the other elements of our work is earthworks. In a large portion of our contours, we're creating level sill spills. So we're basically creating spillways. They're on a ridge and the water will then run down the contour and it will then spill out in a fan-like direction. It will then have the ability to then soak up in our property again, rather than continuing to run down into a gully and create erosion. Having local land services help fund part of this project has enabled for these works to happen quicker than what uh, we would have been able to do by ourselves. This project has enabled a much broader scale adoption of those practices and we can start to see change on a bigger scale. This whole concept now of looking at a catchment like this and thinking of a sponge and trying to get that sponge working properly so when we do get the 50 millimetres that we're getting tomorrow it doesn't just come in and out of the system it's actually getting into the ground and it's residual flow that's coming out. We're at Big Jack's Creek, which is in the foothills of Liverpool Ranges. I think some of our practices have really led to drying the property. So on the oaks, we've got three pieces of work. We're doing fencing on Oaky Creek. We're doing some work converting grade contours to swale banks. And the third thing is we're converting some long-term oats fodder cropping paddocks into permanent pasture paddocks. I really like the opportunity to look after sort of three kilometres of pretty pristine waterways and uh, it's great to go down and see a, a proliferation of, of birds and wildlife in those creeks. It's a vastly improved environment. Projects uh, such as the Upper Mukai Landcare Rehydration Project build resilience against uh, climatic variations and fluctuations. They also uh, mitigate the, the rate of land degradation. I love seeing landholders achieve uh, things on the ground and being really pleased with the results. And we can see the landscape changing and having benefits. That's what inspires me. This rehydration will store more carbon in the soil. And so that is one of the most important things because it's the basis of life. When we all come together, we've all got this common aim of thinking, okay, so let's do the best thing for our landscape. Let's heal it and let's protect it for the future.